Tomorrow is Tuesday, after Wednesday. Okay, Tuesday, I mean, uh, Thursday you should uh, chant without saying. Ishma. <coughs> first, you need to be familiar with the words first. Yivabhyam. Vishnabhyam. Okay, quick recap. Yesterday, we were seeing from Rama Shabda, right? Up to all the, all the Shabdas we have seen. All the Pulinga, right? Now, Nakum Sakalinga. Same as, you know, Nakum Sakali only Pratama Bhagavati, Vidya Bhagavati only changes. At that too, they are same. Param Paray Bharani, you know, Parashabda, you know. Any Shabda you can chant. You can uh, chant. Karaka, what is Karaka? Karaka is Akarantaha, Nakum Sakali Kaha, Karaka Shabda. Karaka also Nakum Sakali Kaha. Karakam, Karake, Karakani, Karakani, Shadu. Right? Six Karaka. Karaka, the word I'm talking about. I'm not talking about what is Karaka. The word Karaka and Vyajana. Karam Vyajana. Napum Sakalika only. Vyajanam Vyajane Vyajana. Vyanjanam also Napum Sakalika. So if you know Pratama Vibhakti, the Shabda is done. Right? So, no need to chant. Similarly, Tat Shabda. Tat Te Tani only you need to remember. If you know, it's similar to Tat Shabda Pulling. Yetad also. Yetad, yete, yetani. Only thing is in Dhritiya and Tritiya, two forms are there, it's okay. Other than that, it is same. Then Kim Shabda, Kim Kekani. In all the Rabum Sagalinga, you need to know only Pratama Vibhakti, otherwise it is same. Yetu ye yani. Okay. Sorry. Sarvam Sarve Sarvani, that also we saw, right? The same language. Uh, same line with uh, Pala Shabda, Sarvam Sarve Sarva. Then Rama Shabda, who can chant Rama Shabda without saying the book? Rama Shabda, anybody? Who can chant? Can you chant? Please do. is Ramabhyam, Ramabhyaha. Okay. And here who can chant Rama Shabda? This side. Anandji. Then are you going to memorize all these Shabdas? You should have a time limit, right? After that we have to move on. We are not going to get stuck up here. We have to move on to next uh, Sakaranta, Nakaranta, all those Shabdas are waiting. <coughs> when are you going to learn them? <laughs> get stuck up in Rama only. <coughs> Chitraji, Chitra Shabda. No. No, we, okay. Ushaji. Huh? You should know. Let's see, we should have a time frame, okay? We cannot just prolong this. You prolong it, difficult. We will not be able to move forward. Every time we need a book, book only. Shabda we need to have. Shabda Manjari should be here. Should be available as a soft copy with us all the time. Right? Tomorrow you are chanting. You are saying Chitra Shabda. Okay. Then you, if you know Rama Shabda, then you, then you know Tat Shabda. Right? 
Do you not accept the trading the yes, Chitraji? No. Because Amma Shabda you don't know. Chitraji says, how you not accept the? So, tomorrow, Amma Shabda, Tat Shabda, all the Shabdas, you please read and come. Okay. Tat Shabda is same as Amma Shabda only. Only Pratma is with the difference is there. Sate Taha. Otherwise, Ramam Rame Ramaha, Tamte Taha, Ramaya Taya, Ramabhyam, Tabhyam, Ramabhi, Tabhi. I have to say the same thing, what else I will say? Now you have to work. If you know Tat Shabda, Yetat Shabda, Yet Shabda, Kim Shabda, all those Shabdas are done. Okay. So it's your homework. Well, now I will introduce some new Shabda because we cannot stop here. We have to move on. Right? Pitra, Prakaranta we saw, I told, simple Shabda. Right? This also you need to know. And Mati and Deno. Did I Yes. Visa. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. That also. Need to know. Marut. Important Shadda. Who knows Marut Shadda? Very good. Only raise your hand. Just want to see. Like this one. Marut is very, very important. Did you do the homework? I gave homework. Ik, ach, and all. Did you try? Okay. Now, you will move on. Okay, we have to move on. Pachat Shabda. Pachat. What is Pachat? Cook. Yes. So, now listen. So far we have been seeing the Shabda which, uh, which is either could be a, a Rudi. Rudi. Rudi means the word is that. non base is like that. Noun base doesn't, it cannot be etymologically derived. Some people say all noun bases, all, shall, all words can be etymologically derived. As it adds, as its root in verb, dot root, <coughs> verbal root, can be derived from the verbal root. That is one uh, paksha, one uh, set of people say. Other people, there's some idea about this certain words are rooty, cannot be done like that. It cannot be etymologically derived. There are words like it also which cannot be etymologically derived. What is cha? Agaya. Cha is cha only. Api is api only. We cannot go to the root and find, it, find the etymological derivation. Api is api. Agaya. Whereas Rama, that is from the Ramda, possible. The good for that uh, Rama, Rama, Ram, Hari also. Papam Harati iti Hari Araha. Right? Shiva is Shiva Shabda, what Swamiji said. Shiva. What is Shiva? And uh, came in table of Phoenician. Yeah. Um, what is that? Now he said uh, the, the derivation, etymological derivation from Chete Harati Papam Iti Shivaha, etymological derivation. I just was trying to recall what they say. Shivaha. The word Shiva can be derived from the Dhatu. Dhatu is a Shete, it's a Atmani Pai You will see. So, what I am saying is, those Shabda is etymologically derived. But this Pachate is rich from the Dhatu only. By seeing the word, you can say this is from the Dhatu. Pach means to cook. Pachat means the one who cooks, not cooker, okay? The, <laughs> the person is the cook. Pachat. The dhatu, the dhatu, you add some pratyaya. You add some pratyaya. Pratyaya means what? What is pratyaya? Suffix. You add some pratyaya to a dhatu. And you and you get a, a Shabda. You get a Shabda. How do we get the Shabda? Shabda derivation. See, there are some Shabdas which cannot be etymologically derived, I said. There are some Shabdas which can be, we can derive by adding certain Pratyaya to a Dhatu. We can derive, we can uh, make a Shabda. From the Dhatu, we can derive Shabda by adding Pratyas. 
so many pratyas are there. Punch means to cook. We add a certain pratyaya, adding which we get pachat. So you get a uh, shabda pachat. What's the word, sir? The one one is correct. Yes, yeah, correct only. I am saying something. First listen. That we'll come to that later. First listen. What I am saying. To a dhatu, we can add the pratyaya and the we derive shabda. And that shabda is what? It's a pratipadika, which can be declined. Which can be declined. So far we have we just took Rama Shabda. We memorize Rama Shabda. Rama Shabda. Nadi Shabda. Now we are going to the next level where we what we are going to do is from a dhatu we are going to derive uh, the, we, are, we are going to uh, decline shabdas which are derived from a dhatu. Dhatu is there, which is the prakriti, and to that you add pratyaya. We have set of pratyas. Don't worry, so many pratyas are there. So many pratyas are there. You will add some pratyaya, and you get a shabda. That is pratipadikam, and it can be declined. One such pratipadikam is pachat. By seeing the pratipadikam, pachat, and seeing the pach, you can see the pach is there. Pach means to cook. So you can connect, pach means to cook, pachat means the one who cooks. Similarly, kaad, to eat. Kaadat, the one who eats. Gum, to go. Gachat, the one who goes. Gachat. Gachat shanda can be declined. Gum means go. Gum means to go. Gachati, gachataka, gachanti, we know, right? Now we are talking about the person who does the action. Derived by adding a certain pratyaya to the dark. Such uh, differences we are going to see. It's useful. It's going to come and then when we study lessons, starting from lesson number 11 in Yes? Yes. 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 Pachat is cook is that uh, it can be declined all the gender. Why not? We are seeing only Pullinga now. We are seeing only Pullinga. It can be declined all the gender. Okay. The person who cooks or who goes could be a Strilinga, could be an Apuksakalinga, possible, right? Could be a uh, Pullinga, Strilinga, Apuksakalinga. You are referring to Rodrigo, you are referring to Napo Sakalinga. I know. That's why he said it is correct. Now listen. Our focus is only on what Shabda? Pullinga Shabda only. Listen. Our focus is on Pullinga Shabda. Don't jump to other Linga. It unnecessarily confuses you. This Shabda may not be there in your book. Shabda Manjuri. Other Shabda we would have given for Pullinga example. But this Shabda, we will chant now. It's here. Is there? Pulinga is there? Yes. It's okay. Fine. Now, you can repeat after me. This Shabda, listen here. Marut Shabda we saw, right? Takarantaha, Pullingaha, Marut Shabdaha, Marut Marutau Marutaha. This is also Takaranta. But it is not like Marut. It is not like Marut. Why? This is a this is a shabda derived from the dhatu by adding krit pratyaya. We are going to see later. Krit pratyaya. So many pratyas are there, I said. How many pratyas do we know? How many pratyas? At least you have heard the name. Sub pratyaya. Think pratyaya. Now you can, one more. Krit pratyaya. Swamiji, many times he said kridanta and all, right? Krit pratyaya. So, Krit Pratyas are added to the Dhatu and you get what? You get? Now listen. Sub Pratyaya you add to Shabda. You get what? You get Padam. Ting Pratyaya you add to Dhatu. You get? Krit Pratyaya you add to Dhatu. What do you get? Krudanta Padam? Shabda. You get Shabda and that Shabda, that is Pratipadikam, can be declined. Understand? Again I repeat. 
Supratya, you add Supratya and add it to Pratipadika. Let us use the word Pratipadika. Supratya, su auja, you know, the 21, 24 Pratya. Add it to Pratipadika and you get Padam. Sup antam Padam. Ting Pratya, the set of 18 Pratya. Depending on what Dhatu is, whether it is Parasmipadi or Atmanipadi. Add, when added to the Dhatu, you get Kriya Padam. Think Antam Padam. Now, another set of Pratyas are there, so many Pratyas are there, which are covered the third chapter of the Ashtadhyayi. The whole third chapter is only Krita only. Four sections are there in chapter. Four sections full of Krita Pratyas. Those Pratyas, when you add to the Dhatu, you get Pratipadikam. Not, you get not Padam, you get Pratipadikam. And that Pratipadikam can be declined. Because it's a Pratipadikam, therefore, can be declined. Clear? Always, when we say, always, when we say a Padam, it should be Subantam or Tingantam. You get a Padam by adding the Supratya or Ting Pratya. Supratya added to Pratipadikam, Ting Pratya added to Dhatu. Here the Pratyas are added, Krit Pratya added to Dhatu. But you get Pratipadika. So only two Pratyas will give you Padam. One is Sup, other one is Ting. Any other Pratyas are there, you will not get Padam. You will get only a Pratipadikam or whatever it may be. From a Pratipadikam, I am just saying this uh, extra information. From a Pratipadikam you can derive a verb also. That is called Namadatu. From a Pratipadikam, you can derive a verb also, possible. Anyway, all these things are possible, okay, in Sanskrit. So, this is, this Pratya, I don't want to tell the name, I told Krit Pratya, okay. So, added to the Dhatu, you get the Pratipadikam. What Pratya you will see later, we are going to see in detail. That is what the introduction I am going to give now. So, Pachit, from the Dhatu, Pach Dhatu. Pach means to cook, all of you know, right? Pachati, Pachataha, Pachanti, Pachasi, Pachataha, Pachatha, Aham Pachami, Ava, Pachavaha, Vayam, Pachamaha. Right? Now, this is not like Marut. Marut, the declension is different. This is different. Now let us chant. Takarantaha, Ullingaha, Pachat, Shabdaha. Pachan Pachantau Pachantaha Pachantam Pachantau Pachataha From Tritya Vibhakti onwards, same as Marut. From Tritya Vibhakti onwards, same as the previous Shabda Marut. That is why I said the connection is there with each Shabda what we see. They are not going by the Shabda Majari order. Okay. You know this order. Try to remember. Maruta Pachata Marutbya Pachatbhyam, Marudbhigi, Pachatbhigi. Simple, no? Only you need to remember two vivaktis, six words. Okay. Pachan, Pachantav, Pachataha, Pachantam, Pachantav, Pachataha. Extra that Nakara is there. Extra Nakara is there, right? Pachan, Pachantam, Pachantav, Pachantav, Nakara is there. Nakara comes in Num Agama. We will talk about that later. Now, Tritya Vrti. Pachata, Pachatbhyam, Pachatbhigi. Pachate, Pachatbhyam, Pachatbhyaha Pachataha, Pachatbhyam, Pachatbhyaha Pachataha, Pachatoho, Pachatam Pachati, what is Pachati here? It is not Kriyapadam, okay? The form looks same. Depending on the sentence, you have to interpret the what padam is the kriya padam or saptami vibhakti ek vachana. Pachati. Samkutam will take you for the right. Okay. <laughs> you should know. Pachati, pachatoho, pachatsu. Pachati, pachatoho, pachatsu. Okay, so Ramaha, pachati, simple. Ramaha, pachati, simple. Stalyam Pachati Stalyam Pachati 
शाकानाम रुचिहि न भवति यह स्थालियां पचति शाकायां रुचिहि न भवति यह पचति इस डिफरेंट पचति इस नाट क्रिया पदम भवति इस क्रिया पदम स्थालियां मिंस कुकर ओके दिस मैं वन सेंटेंस स्थालियां पचति शाकायां विज्ञापुर्स विच आर कुक पुरे द कुकर रुचि के ना होती, not tasty। पचते ही इस ना क्रिया पदम, okay? What is पचते? पचते ही इस सत्तमी भक्ति, how do you translate? That is स्थालियाँ Not in the cooker. Thalyam is in the cooker. I think the example is not proper. I should see another example. Maybe. I have to take the example. Okay. See, Pachan is a person, the one who cooks. Pachantam is Dvitya Bhakti. The person is the karma. So, Pachati is, it's Adhikarna. So, Adhikarna. So, Thalyam, Pachati, I don't think of some example, okay. I don't get the example now. That which is not good, no. So Pachati is in the in the person, in the in the cook, that's the meaning. Adhikarana, in the cook. So Pachati. Um I'm thinking of some example, okay. Pachati. Pachati cooks well, is that the... No, no. Okay, we will see the usage of these things later. Okay, one by one we will see. So, Pachati means in the cook, the person who cooks. That is Adhikarana. He is the Adhikarana. Okay. Pachati is the person, referring to the person, that is the person is Adhikarana. Yes. Pachan, 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 Pachan. Oh, sorry, it's a typo. Yes. Only Dhritya Abhakti is is Pachan Pachan Tau Pachan Taha Pachan Tam Pachan Tau Pachan Taha That's the right one. Numa Gama comes in all the I love it. Salo Bada. Saro Namastana. I should not say now. What Saro Namastana you will ask? You will see that later. That's a Numa Gama comes. It's a typo. Okay. So here it is Pachan, Pachantau, Pachantaha, Pachantam, Pachantau, Pachataha. Okay, now don't worry about uh, the meaning. First, memory Shabda, we will see, then we see the, uh, the usage of these words later. Now, हे पचन हे पचनताओ हे पचनता संबोधना पचनता है इसे इट्स करेक्ट सो प्रथम अभिव्यक्ति मस्ती पचनता है ओके इसका संबोधना एंड प्रथम अभिव्यक्ति इट्स ऑल सेम ओनली एक वचनम देर विल बी डिफरेंस राइट सो पचनता और द सेम वे कैन बी डिफरेंट गच्छत द वन हु गोस राइट सी Gachati Rame, we can say, in the Rama who goes, in the Rama who goes, some sentence we have to make, Gachati Rame, Gachati Rame Kim Abhavad, something about, okay, Gachati Rame, sentence is, we can say, the Rama who goes, so Gachati is seven one, and the person who goes is Rama, the Rama, in the Rama, the locus is Rama, one who goes, the Rama goes, so Gachati Rame. Okay. Gachati Rame Palam Patati. You can say. Gachati Rame, the fruit falls on the, the person, Rama, who is moving. Gachati Rame Palam Patati. Yes. Yes. Gum is a dot only. Yes. Is that yes, I will put the gum that only. How it becomes gutch? That's what the question is. Lot of things are there, okay? Yeah. Now that is gum is a dhatu, how it becomes gutch out of scope of discussion. We will see that later. Now, 
Gachat is the Pratipadika. Okay, Gachat is the Pratipadika, meaning the person who goes. Karta. Now we will decline. Our focus is on declension, okay? Not on the meaning. We have to see Kripartya, then we see, we will see in detail. Now, Takarantaha, Pullingaha, Gachat, Shabdaha. Gachan Gachantau Gachantaha Gachantam Gachantau Gachataha Gachata Gachatbyam Gachatbihi Gachate Gachatbyam Gachatbyaha Gachataha Gachatbyam Gachatbyaha Gachataha, Gachatoho, Gachatam, Gachati, Gachatoho, Gachatsu, He Gachan, He Gachanto, He Gachantaha, One more Shabda, simple Shabda, Patat. Patat is what? The one who reads. Not to read, Patat is to read. Patat is the one who reads, reader. One who reads. Patan, Patantau, Patantaha. Patantam, Patantau, Patataha. Patata, Patadhyam, Patadhihi. Patate, Patadhyam, Patadhyaha. Patataha, Patadhyam, Patadhyaha. Patataha, Patatoho, Patatam, Patati, Patatoho, Patatsu, He Patan, He Patantau, He Patantaha, Now you are over. The same way you can define these Shabdas. Tadat. What does it mean? One who eats. Eater. Right? <coughs> Dhavat. Yes. Pashyat. Don't worry. 
are not saying Nanglakara, level 1. Bhavate is a Shabda. Forget about this. All these are Shabdas. Okay? Decline like this Shabda. Just, you just follow me. Don't go ahead or don't, I mean, go here and there. Unnecessary confusion. Follow this, things will fall in place. I told you now, Sanskritam is like noodles. If you take so much bunch will come. You should know where to cut. Otherwise, it will go, discussion will go, go everywhere, all over. Not required. That's why I answer, didn't answer also. How uh, Gamda to become Gach? Yes, it will become. Yam will become Yach. Ish will become Ich. Right? This is your homework. Please do. This, you decline like Prachat. This is only for practicing the Shabda. And also to know this is different from Marut. Remember, I repeat again. Different from Marut. This is, this is, these uh, Shabdas are derived from Didatu. Therefore, it is specific. Declensions are different. Now, let us... Uh, I said today we will see lesson number 11, but before that... We know what a dhatu is, right? What is a dhatu? Verb. Dhatu is verbal root. Right? Dhatu root. Dadhati, this is the etymological Dadhati, Dharati, Poshati, Iti, Dhatu. This is how uh, Swamiji also will be saying, right? He gives the etymological derivation. What is Dhatu? That which nourishes the language, Poshati. So many Dhatus, how many Dhatus are there? About 2000 Dhatus are there which holds the language, which nourishes the language, that is why it is called dhatu, dadati, dharati, poshati, poshayati, iti, dhatu. So, dhatu is verbal root, right? Okay. Etymological derivation not required, just an extra information. So, dhatu we know. And uh, we know the pratyas, sub, and think pratyas. We know the pratyas, sub pratyas, and think pratyas. And now one more pratyas coincidentally added because we saw the shabda, therefore the name of krit. Krit came. Krit pratyas. What pratyas? Krit pratyas. Other pratyas are there. We have Tadita pratyas are there. Samasanta pratyas are there. Okay. Don't worry about it. We will see those pratyas and all later. Out of scope now. So pratya you leave it out. Not required now. Because our focus is on the dhatu now. Right? So pratyas added to what? Nama dhatu. So pratyas are added to? Pratipadi. Supratyas are added to Pratipadi now. And think pratyas are added to? That is why we discussed Dhatu. And Krit pratyas are added to? Dhatu. Dhatu. Think pratyas are added when you add to Dhatu, what do you get? You get Padam. Think and the Padam. Kriya Padam. Right? You get a Padam. And Krit Pratyaya, when you add that to Dhatu, you get, Pratipadikam. note this, you get Shabda Pratipadikam both are same. Pratipadikam is the technical word, Pratipadikam, noun base. And this noun, to this noun base, what Pratyaya you will add to make it a Padam? Huh? You have to add Sub Pratyaya to make it into a Padam, right? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Good. Now, our focus only on these two now. Okay. Our focus is only on these two. Later, our focus will go only here. Okay. We are zoom, zoom, zoom in, zoom, zoom in on. Zooming in on. Okay. 
First, he is saying this, and after that, we will drop this focus is on thing only. Right? Up to this, clear? Yes? All of you? Yes. Okay. These pratyas, that is thing and krit, thing and krit, the pratyas which are added to dhati, or we can say simple dhatu pratyaya. For the convenience, we can call Dhatu Pratyaya. Dhatu Pratyaya, and this I am coining a word, okay? Dhatu Pratyaya means what? Thing and Krat. Thing and Krat. Right? This Dhatu Pratyaya can be classified into two. Sarva Dhatu Kam. Dhatu Pratyaya classified into you know this already? No? Level 3? Level 3? No? Okay. So it's all not new for everybody. So Dhatu Pratyaya that is Thing Pratyaya and Grit Pratyaya they are classified into Sarva Dhatukam and Arv Dhatukam. Don't ask what is the meaning of Sarva Dhatukam. It's a name. It's a Sanya. There are so many names are there. Guna is a Sanya, Vriddhi is a Sanya, Pratyaya also is a Sanya, right? So many Sanyas we saw. What else? Padam is a Sanya, technical word, Padam. Similarly, Sarva Dhatukam, Arv Dhatukam, they are Sanya. Clear? Please understand. So, Dhatu Pratyaya classified into Sarva Dhatukam and Arv Dhatukam. What is the base? How do you classify that? For that we need to know something. So now this board, please see. We will come back to this. Okay. You need to remember this. Now. Do you know what it is? What is it? It's like this. Sutra, you know, Ayun, Rilag, Ao. The last consonant of those 14 sutras are called it. Huh? Sorry? Yeah. Eti apagachati iti it. Anyway, finally it will be, it gets dropped. Finally. But it will be there in the beginning. It letter. In Magesha Sutra, you have seen it. But it is not only there. All over it is there. The Dhatu Bata. Dhatu Bata, you know, have you heard Dhatu Bata? Dhatu Bata is a book written by Kanini Makarishi, which has all the Dhatus of the language, all the 2000 Dhatus, what are they, whether it's Parasmaipati or Atmanipati, the meaning, everything is given. It's a Granta, it's a book written by Kanini Makarishi. There also, along with the Dhatu, Itta letters are there. Along with the Dhatu, Itta letters are there. In Unadi also, Unadi Sutra, another word, there also it letters are there. In many places you will find it, not only Mageshwar Sutra. It itself is a separate topic discussed in Atatyayi. 1 3. 1 3 3 onwards it is, is described. We will come to that later. First chapter, third section, third sutra. Onwards it is described. Now, we are not, Mahakesh uh, Sutra is that fine, now we are talking about the it in other places. I just give you an idea what it is. You know the Dhatu, Kri Dhatu, important Dhatu, Kri, what is Kri? Kri means to do, right? Vajava Vindam, Vajava Vindam, Vajava Vindam, Muda Mate, Samprate, Sanikite Kale, Nagi Nagi Rakshati, Dukrin Karane. He is not talking about the grammar. Many people take uh, <laughs> many people take misinterpret the shloka as the Dukrin, Dukrin is uh, the Dhatu which is you will find in Dhatu Bata of 
Not in the Bengali Shastra Sukhat. They say grammar will not help you. That is not, is not talking about. Shankaracharya is saying karma will not give you moksha. Na karma na. Na karma na. Na prajaya. Dhane na. Okay. Na asti akrite na. Akrite na. Krite na karma na bhavati. Moksha. Right? Vedanta is not talking about grammar. Yakaran say yakaran don't ask. Yakaran is important. Okay. Swamiji particularly says this. Puja Swamiji. There you will find in the shloka Dukhrin Karane. Dukhrin Ancha. Bhagavad Pada is so, what do you call it, gracious. He gives the meaning of the word Dhatu. Dukhrin Karane. In the shloka itself is there. Nagi Nagi Rakshati Dukhrin Karane. In the Panini Dhatu Pata, you will find the meaning of the Dhatu. Dukhrin is Karane. What is the meaning of Dukhrin? means to do. In the sense of doing, Dhatu kr is used. That is the meaning. In the sense of doing, Dhatu, the verbal root, kr is used. That is how Panikya Nagarishi defines Dhatu in the Dhatu Pata. Bhagavad Pada just simply quotes that in his Pachagavindam. He doesn't criticize Yagaranam. That means he is criticizing Panini. How can he do that? is criticizing the karma kanda because it is against karma. Clear? So, now, kru means, you know, kru is right, dhatu. But here do is there, here nekara is there, what are these? These are itta letters. These are packaging letters. When you get a parcel, courier parcel, how do you get? You get nicely packed, right? What is important? The content is important. Remove the pack, Throw the packing, take the, the valuable. Similarly, this comes with the pa packing. This is it, this is it, remove. Kru only is there. So, Kru is Karane. In the sense of doing action, Dhatu Kru is used. Right? This is the meaning of the Dhatu Kru. In fact, the first Dhatu in the Dhatu Pata you will find Bhu. The meaning is Sattaya. Bhu Sattaya. Sattaya means in the sense of being. Same as almost like Bhagat, but direct denotes a person. In the sense of being, Bhu, Bhavati, Asti, that existence, Bhu Dhatu is used. In the Dhatu Pata, you will find everything in Sattani Bhakti. Sattaya means Sattani Bhakti. Karane is Sattani Bhakti. We call this Sattani as Vishay Sattani. Anyway, in the sense of so what I'm saying is, these are the this is how you will find in the Dhatu Pata. Dhatu Pata when you read Bhu, Sattaya, Hedra, Virdhav, the meaning will be given. Sattami. Kru is Karane. Now our focus is not this on it letter. Coming back to the topic. So these are packaging letter. Do is it and nya is it. Right? Okay. Now, we are not interested in do also. Let us forget about this do for time being. Here, what is, which is it here? Nya. Nikara is it letter. So, I can call this Dhatu as Nyit. I can call this Dhatu as Nyit. Just saying an example, okay. There is no usage of calling this Dhatu as Nyit. Because Nyakara, what is Nyakara? It's an it letter. So therefore this is a Nyit Dhatu. Okay. Now, forget about this Dhatu. Now I gave this example of this Dhatu just to show you what is it. Now let us take some Prataya. You know the thing Prataya? What is the first Prataya? What is the Prataya? Louder. T or? It is really speaking tip. Okay. It is tip only. We drop the Takara. Why? It, it is it the letter. Takara is what? It the letter. Therefore, we don't say it. Ti tahanti, si tahata, mi vaha maha. Right? Forget about other. Only you take this one. That is Pratama Purusha Yekavachana Pratya. Tip. 
this, the content of this pratyaya is ti. Why I said uh, this guru is not different? Because we are talking about the pratyaya, the pratyas are connected to the dhatu. Therefore, therefore this example, this, compared to this example, this example is good to understand what it is. Right? That is why I erased. Need not copy. This you can note. Now, this tip is the, the pratyaya. The content of the pratyaya after dropping the it is the. Now, which letter is dropped? Pakara. So, what is Pakara here? We can call Pakara is the it letter. Therefore, this pratyaya, tit pratyaya is pit. It is a pit pratyaya. Pit na pitam purichu jana tham. Got mad. <laughs> this pratyaya is. In fact, pit is a samasa. It is a samasa problem. That's why I said not noodles. So that's why I am cutting down that. You understand this much. Pakara is it in which. That is called pit. Pakara is a it letter. Similarly, I give an, another example. This is what they are going to see. What is this? Shab. What are the letters here? Shakara plus A plus Pakara. I tell you, you don't know. Shakara and Pakara. I am saying they are it letter. What are they? It letters. They are? It letters. That's what I think. Because you don't know what they are. So, you remove the packaging, the content will be A only. Content will be uh, therefore, we can call this Shep as what? Shep as what? Pratya, we can, what? It, when, by referring to the it letter. Referring to the it letter, you have to call. What? Arth. When you say Arth, A <laughs> is not going. A is the content. You name this Pratya with the it letter which disappears. Shep is only there. Come on. See, it's very simple. Listen here, listen to me. Tip is there, Pakara is the it letter, therefore I can call this Pratyaya as tip, uh, Pit Pratyaya. What Pratyaya? Pit Pratyaya, listen to me first. Pakara is the it letter here, therefore I can call this Tip Pratyaya as Pit Pratyaya. Now here I am saying, Shakara is the it letter, Pakara is the it letter. So I can call the Shab Pratyaya as Pash Pratyaya. <laughs> Huh? Ash? Come on, simple thing. Logical. Huh? At? Content of this pratyaya is only A. The shakara and pakara, these are the packaging letters. Remove the package, throw out the package, take the content. What is the content? Only A remains. Nothing else is there. Right? Now, we can refer to the shab. Pratya, the Ujjal Pratya, with the it name, I am asking what could be. Example I have given here. Dip is there, Pakara is the it letter, therefore I can call the Tip Pratya, I can refer to Tip Pratya by saying it's a Pit Pratya. Come on, simple. This person wearing this, what is that? Well, covering. What do you call that? Huh? Huh? Well, in my English. Okay, what am I doing? This person has got sweater, right? So I can refer to him, the person wearing the sweater. What is the content of him? You remove the sweater, the what? The person is that the person, right? This is a sweater is a it letter. So when I say the person with the sweater is the only person, I am referring to him. I am not referring to him by the name Chirag. I am saying he is a sweater person. Uh, sweater it. <laughs> right? You understand? Or some other example. The person with uh, some, something peculiar to see, okay? <laughs> the person wearing sari. Sari. Sari it, okay? So, by, sa by sari, that is, you are, you are narrowing down and saying, this is a person I am referring to. The person with the sari. I am referring to the person, not to the sari. Similarly, tip is the, the pratyaya, like the person's name, Shirak, and this Pakara is a property. Sweater is a property. I refer to him, the person with the sweater. Similarly, I can refer to this 
this dip pratyaya calling this is a pith pratyaya the content of dip is only thi the content of chirag is the person right without any this uh, add ons clear similarly i can call shaka shap the pratyaya where shakara and pakara they are the dress so i can call the shap pratyaya is one who is wearing the dress shakara who is wearing the dress pakara but here in this context we are saying it it and all therefore we can call the this as a shit this is a shit pratyaya because it pakara also is a it i can call it as a shit pratyaya clear do you understand this uh, the logic behind this i'll give another one i take another pratyaya all these are pratyaya okay we are going to see these pratyayas in detail let us take yak pratyaya here this is ya plus takara i'm telling this takara is the it so therefore i can refer to yak by calling kit clear pa pa finally got it right kit what pratyaya is that kit pratyaya kakara it in which is called kit so yak where kakara is a kit letter therefore kit shakara it in which is called a shit and yet shakara is a it letter that for shit pratyaya and also pakara happens to be it <coughs> pakara it in which that for it's a pit so this is a pit as well as shit pratyaya this is a kit pratyaya now similarly another one here ni and shakara is a it letter how do you call this kit pratyaya is a chit pratyaya another pratyaya here this nya is the it letter okay how do you call this it is a git pratyaya what is the part pratyaya git pratyaya so by saying bit pratyaya we can refer to so many pratyayas that pakara is a it letter yes or no similarly when we say git pratyaya i can refer to so many pratyayas that pakara is a it letter similarly git pratyaya when i say i can refer to many pratyayas that the pratyayas are nikara as it letter bobby over <laughs> then so now you got i know what it is yes or no yes. understand no who said no yes now can give some pratyaya you can tell me what uh, what is how do you refer that pratyaya right what are the it letters you can write i will give you only the content so you can infer what what is the what are the it letters from the content so how do you call this shap and just now we saw what is that as well as shit or shit then i will write the content you can't say immediately because we don't know which is uh, it letter which are it letters unless i say right shall the content is nakara sorry yakara content is ya is a shit as well as net right then let's say the content is no is a bit everything is a bit on right <laughs> um okay let us say like this the content is who what karte is that kit karte ya the content is ya yeah. what karte ya kit karte ya Is only no. What pratyaya is that? 
षट् प्रत्यय राइट वाट प्रत्यय इज दट द कंटेंट इज अ Content is me. Pit. Clear now? What I am talking about? Not only in the context of Mageshwara Sutra, here also we address the Pratyaya by the Hith letters. Clear? Yes? Yes? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. Now, what is the connection? Just two minutes, right? Connection is there with the Sarvadhatana. That is why the story is. The story doesn't stop here. With this, we are going to do a lot of work. How many of you seen this before? Already studied? Would have studied, I think. Level yes, 3. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but you know Pit and all, right? You know Pit and all, right? No, 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 no. Not this way. This way. Okay, anyway, but you should know what it is. Otherwise, we have what's the point. Now, Dhatu Pratyaha, coming back, remember, what is Dhatu Pratyaha? Gone. <laughs> thing and? <laughs> thing and? <laughs> Sattama, <laughs> order. <laughs> thing and Krit Pratyaha, Dhatu Pratyaha, class went into Sarvadhatakam, Adhatu. So many Krit Pratyahas are there. How many Thing Pratyahas are there? Quickly. How many Thing Pratyahas? <laughs> 9, 9 plus 9, 18. 18. Okay. 18 thing pratyas and krit many. So many. So, now these pratyas are classified as sarvadhatukam. That is, listen to me. The pratyas, thing pratyas, thing means what? All the 80 pratyas. Thing pratyas and shit pratyas. What is shit? What is shit? No. What is shit? So many are there. What is shit? Not shit, okay. Shit pratyaya. What is shit? Come on, that's what I said. Shit is what? Shakara is it in which? It means it refers to all the pratyas. Where shakara is it? Shap is, is the shit pratyaya. Shan is the shit pratyaya. Sha is a shit pratyaya. Shno is the shit pratyaya. So many pratyas are there. Wherever Shakara is a Gita letter, they are referred by the word Shit. Clear? Now the Sutra is Thing Shit Savadhatukam. That's Sutra. 3, 4, 1, 1, 3. Number not required, that's what I'm saying. Thing Shit Savadhatukam. The pratyas, Thing Pratyaya, or the 18 Pratyaya, and all the pratyas, that is Krit Pratyas, where Shakara is the Gita letter, Gita letter, they are called Savadhatukam. They are called? What about Agdhatakam? Whatever is left out. They are called? Agdhatakam. Agdhatakam. Sheshaha. Sheshaha means, uh, don't say, Chakara is again the Shaka. Sheshaha means, what is left out, remaining. Right? So now you know what is Savadhatakam and Agdhatakam. Think shit Savadhatakam. Shesham. Sheshaha. Agdhatakam. Other than this, they are all are the dhatukam. And this thing shit pratyaya, or sarvadhatuka pratyaya, I can call now, sarvadhatuka pratyaya, are the dhatuka pratyaya, added to what? Added to? Ita. Added to? Dhatu. The context started from? Dhatu. So we started from there, we are ending there. Om pur namada pur namidam pur nar pur namada chate pur nasya pur namada ya pur nameva vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Yoga Mahal Hari Om You will write and give some notes, maybe you can type it tomorrow. Clear? Yes? Yes? Yes?